Hello to my YouTube friends. Thank you for being here with me today to do some tapping. I wanted to do some tapping about uh, the fear that comes up with having to go out and network and go out in front of people and promote yourself and your services. And so this is one of the things now that we're kind of getting back into the swing of things, I am least looking forward actually because I'm very much an introvert and I am not a big fan of networking in the traditional sense. And sometimes that is just one of the ways that it has to happen. And um, so it's just one of those things that I know for me, I have to really just sit down, do some tapping on it and allow myself to just go out and face that fear. So if you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so let's start on the karate chop point and before we begin take a deep breath in and just think about on a scale of one to ten where this number is for you so maybe you're just thinking about your general fear of networking or maybe you're thinking about a specific event that might be coming up or one that you know is coming up and you're trying to think of excuses to get yourself out of which is something I know that I do and or it could just be an event where you are going to be presenting to people or leading or just putting yourself out there in front of people in a in a particular way so rate that number feel where you feel it in your body and now we'll go ahead and we'll start on the karate chop point Actually, we're gonna jump right into the tapping points because uh, you're probably, if you're, if you're anything like me, you're very anxious and nervous already right now. So we're gonna jump right into the points. I hate networking. I don't wanna do it. I do not wanna do it. I hate networking. It is so uncomfortable. It is so awkward. I absolutely hate networking. And I'm gonna pause for a second here because I forgot I'm not wearing the microphone. I hate networking. I hate talking about myself. Trying to sound like I'm awesome or something. I'd rather just be behind the scenes. I'd rather be in the corner just drinking coffee. I don't know what to say to people. I don't know how to break the ice. And what if I make someone else uncomfortable? I hate making people uncomfortable. What if I come off as too pushy? What if people think I'm weird? I'd rather just not do it. I don't want to do this networking. I'd rather just stay in my house. It's painful. It's painfully awkward. And what if I embarrass myself? What if people think I'm weird? I hate to feel so awkward. I just don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. So awkward. 
so uncomfortable. I would rather be anywhere than at a networking event. If I talk about myself, people will think I'm conceited. If I try to sound like I'm really good at what I do, they're gonna think I'm full of myself. I can just imagine the judgment. I can just imagine people talking about me behind my back. It's way safer to just stay home. It's way safer to find a better thing to do. Maybe something behind the scenes. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Okay, take a deep breath in. And one of the great things about tapping is that we are voicing our honest feelings and we are not trying to pretend that we're calm when we're freaking out inside. And so that's really the, the beauty is allowing yourself to get that energy out, to tap it out, to physically in your, you know, be doing something with your body, allowing yourself to feel grounded. And so I hope, go back to that number and rate it again and see if it's gone down. And if it has, that's great. If it still needs to go down more, repeat that tapping um, a couple more times until you really get it down. And you can repeat those same words. I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna do it. I, I'm nervous, I'm anxious, it's gonna be awkward. Whatever comes to mind for you, just really repeat, 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 and allow it to get out and through you know, your system in the way that it needs to. And then when you're ready, we'll do a little bit of a more positive tapping. So something that you can do when your number is a little bit lower. And this time we're gonna start on the karate chop point, the side of hand, repeating after me, even though I hate networking. I still deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I sometimes feel awkward around other people, I deeply and profoundly love and accept all parts of me. Even though I doubt myself sometimes, I doubt my value. I don't think I'm good enough. I still deeply and profoundly love, honor, and accept myself. Here I am. Right here and right now, I am safe. Right here and right now, I am feeling relaxed. Knowing that I have so much value to give and share. And people need to know about me. How can I give and serve more people if I stay hidden? I am choosing to face this fear. This fear of putting myself out there. Risking the fear and pain that could come from rejection and criticism. But I'm open to looking at this in a new way. I am open to seeing this about how I can help and serve other people. Maybe I can connect 
people with others in a helpful way. Maybe there's something that I have that can really be helpful to someone else. What if there's a problem that I solve that someone else has? Wouldn't they want to know about me? Wouldn't it be helpful if they knew about this resource? In my heart, I know that I am here to give and serve others. And I was blessed with amazing gifts and talents. I have so much value to give. I allow myself to be open to giving. I allow myself to be open to receiving. Because I want to make connections with great people. I would feel so excited to have new opportunities flowing my way. So maybe this is an opportunity for something new to come in. This is a chance for a fresh new beginning. Maybe this is an opportunity for my prayers to be answered. For my wishes to come true. And I am open to that. That wouldn't be so bad at all. And I am totally open and excited about that. Okay, so take a deep breath in, breathing out, going back to that number and seeing if it has gone down and maybe it's completely switched. Maybe you are now really high on the scale of excitement or feeling motivated to just do a little something to reach out um, and looking at it in a new way, let me know, are you seeing things any differently now? Is your perspective changed? So that's a great um, benefit of doing this tapping. And there was a networking book and I cannot remember the name of it off the top of my head, but they gave some really great advice about looking at these types of events as a way of not what you can necessarily get or what, what you're giving, but how can you look at this as being of service? And so maybe it's you have a great hairstylist and someone is new to town and is looking for a new stylist. Or maybe someone is looking for a place to take the kids in town and you just happen to know that there's a great uh, water park or swimming pool in the area. And so don't necessarily look at it as I have to get, you know, to, to sell to people, I have to, to toot my own horn and, and make it be really awkward. Like how can you, go into it thinking about the, something as small as like what I mentioned and have that in your back pocket of a resource or a tool to give. And maybe someone comes up to you and they, um, they need what your service is, whether that's, you know, uh, an, your artwork or they're looking for, um, coaching services or a, a speaker or a presenter at an event. And it just, it flows a lot more naturally, I found, when you do this clearing work. So um, 
Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a comment. Let me know if this resonated with you, if this was helpful for you, if you went out and conquered a challenging speaking event. And thank you for liking this video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and allowing me to be of service to more people. And of course, sharing this with friends or, or other people that you would think it would be helpful for. So thank you, and I will see you guys again on the next video. Bye.